5 says use the table of f of x equals 3x squared minus 18x plus 5 to determine possible domains of which the inverse function is a function. So we're still looking a whole bunch at this same concept about inverses right now. So let's make a table. So x and f of x. And we're going to type it in the calculator to get our values. So over here... I'm going to go to y equals and type in 3x squared minus 18x plus 5. Go to second graph to look at the table. And then I'm going to write down those values and take a look at what happens. So 0, 5, 1, negative 10, 2, negative 19, 3, negative 22, 4, negative 19, 5, negative 10, and let's put 6, 5. So for the inverse function, we need to switch the x and the y. So the inverse function, I need to write that a little nicer. It should be f to the negative 1 of x. So we're going to switch them and put f of x first, and x second. So we're going to say that goes with 5, 0. I'm just switching the values that are over here. Negative 10, 1. Negative 19, 2. Negative 22 goes with 3. Negative 19, 4. Negative 10, 5, and 5, 6. Now, we're going to take a look at it the same way we normally do and say, does each x value, which is now right here, do so these values have a unique y value, which is actually our old x value? So looking at each one, 5 goes with 0, but then you can see down here at the bottom that it also goes with 6. So right away we can tell this would not be a function, but it asks you to determine possible domains on which it is a function. So what we can tell is this continues to happen, like negative 10 goes with 1 and also goes with 5. Negative 19 goes with 2 and also goes with 4. But right here in the middle looks like a turning point where that is one x that has a unique y. So what we can tell is that if we keep the domain either above negative 22, so going this direction, or below negative 22, we would be on the safe side. So we would not run into those values that don't have a unique y. So we could say... Let's grab my pen for the domain of x is greater than or equal to negative 22 or x is less than or equal to negative 22, then it would be a function. So let's put the inverse of f of x is a function. All right, so that is it for example five.